here are two ideas about color called metamerisms and 60-30-10 rule. A metamerism is when a color appears different under one light source than it does under another light source. Um, because the color of light definitely has an effect on how your color shows up. Because think about it, lights are kind of yellowy, so it's like you're adding yellow to colors in some ways, or not adding yellow. Um, so factors that could affect the metamerism are the time of the day, because if you've ever noticed, the, the color of the light outside changes depending on the time of day. Um, the weather, sunnier is bright, brighter, cloudier is darker, obviously. The color of the light bulbs in the space, the amount of lights on inside, um, the curtains, if the curtains are opened or closed, letting an amount of light in, um, and how the color of light bulbs mix with the amount of natural light. So that's definitely like a white-yellow combination happening. So notice a wall in your house and how it looks different based on the different times of day, whether the curtains are open or closed, and what kinds of lights are on around it in your house. Um, here's an example. Um, this is a paint chip placed in my classroom. And this picture was taken when there was no lights on in the classroom, but the curtains were open. It was really close to the window. And this is with just the natural morning light, like before 9 a.m. This is a picture of the same paint chip with the actual overhead lights on and the curtains still open and in the, at the same time before 9 a.m. So the overhead lights, you know, the bright lights in the classroom affected the color that much. It looks very bright yellowy. It's a green, but it's very bright and yellowy in this picture versus duller and more like tan looking in this picture just because the lights are on. So that's something to think about when you're choosing colors in a room. Like, how do you want it to look? Do you want it to ever look dull like this? Do you want it to ever look bright like this? Our other idea here is the 60-30-10 rule. Um, remember, we don't talk about plants when we're considering color schemes. Um, but this is where 60% of a room should be one color. 30% of a room should be a second color. And 10% of a room should be a third color. So in this room example, 60% of it is tan colors, um, whether it's the wood, the carpet, um, the other wood accents like the mantle or these beams. Um, roughly 60% of the room is the tan color. Um, and 60% is just a little more than half. Think of it that way or look at it and think like, what color do I see the most of in this room? 30% of the room is whitish or the color on the walls. A little less than half. Um, that was about 30%. And then 10% is a third color. Usually it's an accent color. Um, and in this room it is black. And there is just little bits of it. It's only on the chairs, the artwork and accessories, and the lights. That's it. There's not very much black happening. So in these four rooms, um, these go with your assignment. Let me X my face out. Um, what I want you to do is the questions are going to ask you um, what is, you know, 60, 30, or 10 percent in each of these rooms? Like what color makes up 60 percent of room number one? What color makes up 30 percent of room number two? Um, it might say different numbers than that, but you're going to associate that with the little circular number on the screen when you answer questions.